Excel is a very commonly used program. Oftentimes, the data lies in an Excel file and we need to programmatically read it. In this video, we will use Apache POI to read Excel workbooks. We will open an Excel workbook, iterate over its sheets, read data in each sheet. Let's get started. Here, I have my Spring Tool Suite open. Let's now go to File, New, Other, and from under Maven, choose Maven Project. Choose Default Workspace Location. Click Next. Click Default Archetype of Quick Start and click Next. Let's give the group ID as com.demo and artifact ID as Excel Project. Click Finish. Let's open the pom.xml file. To work with Apache POI, we need to include a couple of dependencies. Let's right click choose Maven, Dependencies and then type POI. Choose the jar. For working with the .xlsx format, we also need to include the POI-OOXML. Right click, choose Maven, Dependencies, type POI and let's select the jar for POI-OOXML. So here are our two dependencies included. Right click on the project, choose Maven and then choose Update. Let's now create a new class for reading the Excel file. Right click on the package node, choose new, class. Select the option to generate a main method. Click finish. Let's open our Excel file we want to read. We have two sheets in this workbook. The first sheet invoices contains information about invoices like for each invoice, item ID, item name, quantity ordered, price and sold date. Then there is a formula column here summing up the item price, sum from cell D2 to D16. The second sheet has some locations of our vendors by state, so state, city and number of vendors. Let's say we want to programmatically read the data. Let's mention our file name with location as a static variable over here. Let's first start with a try catch block. The first step is to create a new file input stream called file to read this file, initializing the new file with the file name. Let's now create a workbook and new XSF workbook passing in the file name. For .xlsx format, we need to create new XSF workbook. For the older .xls format, you can use the HSSF workbook. Let's fix the imports. Let's now create a data formatter. From Apache documentation, data formatter contains methods for formatting the values stored in a cell. This can be useful for reports and GUI presentations when you need to display data exactly as it appears in Excel. Supported formats include currency, SSN, percentages, decimals, dates, phone numbers, zip codes, etc. Now, let's iterate over the sheets in the workbook. We create an iterator, sheets, calling workbook.sheetIterator. Using the while loop, let's fix the imports. While sheets has next, we get the current sheet as sheets.next. Using system out, let's print the sheet name as sh.getSheetName. Now, let's iterate over the rows in this sheet. Let's create a row iterator by calling sh.iterator. While iterator has next, or as long as we have rows, we get the current row as iterator.next. Now let's iterate over the columns or the cells in this row. So let's create a cell iterator by calling row.iterator. Let's have another while loop for the cells. While cell iterator has next, we get the current cell as cell iterator.next. We get the string cell value as data formatter.format cell value passing in the cell. The data formatter will do the handling of data values and return them in the string format. But say you want to store the value in a Java object and need to know the data type of each cell, you can call methods like cell.getCellType and compare it to celltype.string, numeric, formula, etc. to get the value 
in variables of appropriate data types. Let's do a system out print to print the cell value and send a tab character to the display. Let's do a system out print line to send the display to the next line. Let's close the workbook. Alright, that is it. Let's run our program by right clicking and choosing run as Java application. And here we see the output. We see the sheet name, the header row, the data rows. It even prints the sum formula. The second sheet name and the header row and the data for the second row. So in this video we learned how we can use Apache POI to read an Excel workbook, read sheets in there and then read the data. Thanks for watching.